everybody, it is Wednesday, April 22nd, and I am back with you for another short time of prayer and reflection. As you can tell, I am here on my front porch uh, in my rocking chair. I, I once read a church sign that said, worrying is like a rocking chair. It gives you something to do, but it doesn't get you anywhere. Now, as much as I like that saying, it's pretty clever. My, my rocking chair takes me to my happy place, so I have to disagree with it a little bit. But anyway, uh, today is Earth Day, and it's a time where we can reflect on um, the beauty and the splendor that is this earth and this world uh, and of God's creation, uh, but it also reminds us of our role in taking care of it and in being good stewards of the creation that we were given. So with that in mind, I thought that we could go through a little bit of liturgy that we have from our Presbyterian Book of Common Worship uh, that centers around the care of creation. So if you would, take a few minutes, take a deep breath, and join me as we reflect together. The earth is the Lord's and all that is in it, the world and those who live in it. God has founded it on the seas and established it on the rivers. Let us pray. God of creation, we give thanks for the goodness of the earth that you made and sustain. Our voices join in praise with all creation, with the sea that roars, the trees that clap their hands, and the birds that sing in joy. Unite us by your Spirit, that we may be signs of your abundant mercy, and live in thanksgiving for your grace, as we wait for the completion of your creation in Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray. Amen. I'd like to read to you the first four verses from Psalm 19. Listen now to the Word of God. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the sky proclaims it its Maker's handiwork. One day tells its tale to another, and one night imparts knowledge to another. Although they have no words or language, and their voices are not heard, their sound has gone out into all lands, and their message to the ends of the world, where God has pitched a tent for the sun. Let us once again go to God in prayer. Holy One of all creation, yours is the womb of all life. Yours is the fountain of living water. Yours is the voice that breaks down walls. Yours is the love that cannot be contained. For the thirsty, you give the water of life. For the hungry, you offer the bread of heaven. For the weak, you carry heavy burdens. For the joyful, you shout in holy laughter. For the anxious, you summon showers of peace. For the suffering, you breathe sighs of comfort. As we pray for the new heaven and new earth, O God, we give thanks for this earth, our partner in your service. Move us to hear your voice in the song of the sparrow, to see your face reflected in the river. Awaken us to your greatness through the winds of the storm and the scent of your grace on the morning dew. Empower us to hear your prophets in the croaks of evening frogs, to read your gospel in the webs of writing spiders. Yours is the womb of all life, O God. Yours is the fountain of living water. Yours is the voice that breaks down walls. Yours is the love that cannot be contained. In your great mercy, you call us to care for your creation, to uphold one another, and to pray for your world. 
hear our prayers for the healing of the earth. For clean water that all may drink. For the right use of resources and the careful tending of the land and the seas. For people in places damaged by war. For those who suffer, those whose needs are known to us, and those whose needs are known only to you. With confidence that you hear our prayers, we offer ourselves for your good purposes, watching and waiting for the healing of your creation as we work toward your coming reign. Through Christ our Savior and the power of the Holy Spirit, all glory and praise to you now and forever. Amen. Friends, let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts. To this peace we are called, as members of a single body. The peace of Christ be with you. Amen. Thank you.